I look pretty awful right now, but I'm here to tell you that Lil Wayne comes through <laughs> on this mixtape. Seriously, man, I was not expecting this. I saw the track list, I saw the samples he's using on this album beforehand, saw that the first song was DNA by Kendrick Lamar, saw that throughout the album we had some of the biggest hit songs of the year, so I was a bit skeptical of this. I know he's done this on the previous dedication, <clears throat> mixtapes, it's kind of like his whole series, his whole point, but still I was a bit like, ah, this is just going to sound like lesser versions of the original tracks, do I really want this? And it turns out I do, I do want this, I do, I, I, I do. The first track with Fly Away, which is the DNA track, oh man, oh man, this was really <laughs> good. I just didn't expect it. I was just like, you can't possibly do this. This is one of the best songs of the year. Wildly critically acclaimed. It's been on like the top 10 of everyone's list. Even my list. I just thought, he's going to botch this. He's going to completely botch this. Listen to it. It's actually really good. And he flows on the track so well. I just was so like, wow. And he carries it on through to the next track as well. With the Everyday We Lit song. And this is a way better version than the original. Like... I just couldn't believe how good he was on these tracks. I usually find his like crooning really annoying, but there is no auto tune across this entire mixtape at all, or not none, 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 none that I could hear anyway. Like, um, I, I was just thought like this was his just natural rapping voice. He's actually like on beat on a lot of these tracks, really like riding the beat and making the tracks sometimes sound better than the original songs. It's kind of crazy. Bank Account is the best example of that because I hate that song. Like, I, I, I just don't like that song at all. Um, no, I really don't. But the, Wayne's interpretation of this song is really good because it's not like the entire stripped rip off of the entire beat all the way through. It's kind of just like a one part of the song looped and I don't know I just think it sounds way better and I just think that without that really redundant chorus that was on the original 21 Savage song um just Lil Wayne rapping across the whole thing I think it's just it just makes the song sound so much better which is weird because I didn't really come into this mixtape expecting that I'd get better versions you know I like I said at the start I just thought oh we're gonna get lesser versions of the original songs even some of the songs that I don't like that much like like bank account I just thought it's gonna be even worse than that because I just didn't think Lil Wayne would come through that's not to say that there aren't moments that really could have been taken off though I do think like story of OJ like he does take the story of OJ um, and doesn't really do anything better with it honestly I mean that's a pretty great song anyway so to take a song like that is a bit random because I think there was a bit more substance to the story of OJ rather than just this track where Lil Wayne is kind of not really doing anything original. But the track does start off with this feature from Euro, I think his name is. I don't really know anything about him, but um, I think he sounds really good. I wish the whole song was just him, to be honest, because when Lil Wayne comes in, he kind of ruins it. EXO Tour Life is pretty good. Um, I just thought the whole way through I was just waiting for the I don't really care if you cry like it was just too similar to the original for me to enjoy it because like the whole way through that's what I was expecting and then right at the end of the song he does it and I was just like yeah you know I, I, I kind of like the original to be honest so I just didn't really feel like this was necessary. One thing that did get me thinking though is that there are a few tracks on here that aren't very well known like there's a Dave East one um phone jumping i remember reviewing that ep um like dave east man every time i think about him i'm like oh yeah that guy that guy like he's just not a memorable guy at all to me so phone jumping i remember thinking it was the worst on the ep or one of the worst but lil wayne does a really good uh, version of it on here seriously this is a really good track it's one of my favorites on here too then towards the end there's this little baby track don't really know much about that guy don't think he's particularly that big. And then the black track, or is it Six Lack? I don't know. The Problem song was kind of popular. But again, I just kind of wondered if he'd have done like Mask Off by Future or Amigos song or any other bigger song that came out this year. I kind of would have wondered how that would have sounded because I think that would have been really cool to hear him do those songs as opposed to these kind of meh songs that really weren't good in the first place so hearing Lil Wayne over them isn't really adding to it although to be fair the one 
Um, not the second to last track, the third to last track is all right. I, I, I wouldn't turn it off if it came on. It's, the second to last track, though, isn't particularly great. And then the final track is a Kodak Black track, which honestly could have been thrown off. Um, he even emulates Kodak Black by saying, like, something about raping your thought. Um, you know, like, just because you're doing a Kodak Black song, you don't have to actually be like Kodak Black, because you don't, no one wants to be Kodak Black, you know, like, n no. There is another Uzi Vert track at the start as well, near, near the start of the album anyway, um, for real, I think he does this one really well. Honestly, he just he's just spitting fire on these tracks, like, he might not be saying that much exciting, but just the way he's flowing, like, they honestly, like, I hardly ever use the word fire, but, like, they are fire! Like, to me, this is what this album should sound like when all these collaboration mixtapes comes out, you know what I mean? Like, all of these, you know, your Without Warnings, your um, Young Thug and Future, your Metro Boomin' and Big Sean, all of these big collab albums should be like this, where it's just like straight up fire all the way through, even where there are some duds, but it just continuously keeps up the pace and you're just kind of like just enamoured with how good the rapper sounds, whereas on all of those I just mentioned, the rappers drag down the production so much, whereas Lil Wayne just keeps it up. I could imagine the one track that's going to pick up a lot of heat on this one is the Five Star remix, which is the rock star um, by Post Malone and uh, 21 Savage. Nicki Minaj is on this one, sounding pretty good. Honestly though, the song could be done without, like it's just the same song, like I'm just listening to it and I'm like, this is the same song, like I don't, I don't have interest in that, I just preferred it so much like on Fly Away, or like for re the For Real uh, sample, where he like does something really good with the sample, rather than just take the sample, like completely strips it and then just does his own thing on it, it's just boring I think. But man, there are a handful of tracks here that I do think will be played regularly for me. <laughs> These are so good, like, uh, I'm just surprised at how good he was able to do a lot of these songs. Not really a big Lil Wayne fan, and honestly I think all of his fans could admit that he hasn't really had that much of a great run as of late. He's not really put out many great albums in the past, like, 10 years or something. I, that's what his fans say anyway. So. This tape is pretty good, it, it is good. I'm going C plus on this, honestly. I'm gonna be playing quite a few of these tracks a lot. Uh, again, I've said already, some of the tracks that just basically rip off the original song don't interest me that much, but this is great. I would say Dedication 6 is worth your little time. Just give it a try, see what you think. Let me know if you have listened to it in the comments. If you think I'm completely wrong, or if you think that I am right in some kind of way, let me know. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews, um, and do have a good day. Have a good day, have a good day.